Hello YouTube, this is a review on the WEM1911 something series or whatever. I'll have the full name up on the title, I don't really remember it right now, but anyways. I've been meaning to do this review for like a while now, or I've just been too lazy not to do it, or, or bit was busy on the time and day I wanted to do it. But without further ado, here it is. But I bought it from Evike for $110. You do get an extra mag with it, which is what I like about Evike, because they always give you an extra mag. No matter what. Well, actually, if you do the, you have to do the Holy Cow special, but still, what? The God and Cell comes with two mags, but then the, if you do the Holy Cow special, you get another mag, too. But I have one mag right here, though. The other mag is in my closet with um, in my tactical vest. Don't feel like digging it out and all. But uh, the gun is right here. When our, uh, it, it is blowback, I forgot to say this. forgot about that. The gun is blowback. The trigger is here. Right now, it's on safety, right? But if I were to put my hand down... It would fire right then and there, but without, it won't do anything. With, it will. And every time it blows back, it loads another BB, so you don't have to cock it back and forth every time for you beginners. And that's what she said. And um, as it blows back, it pushes down the hammer, like that, like so. And you, and you just shoot and it goes pow. It's pretty cool, though. I like the way it blows back and everything. And I bought the one with the Marine Seal right there. Which is mainly the reason why I bought this particular pistol is because I like the Marines. Simple as that. And mainly this whole gun is metal. The only non-metal parts, and there's not even plastic, but the only non-metal parts are this right here. Whatever that is, it says. W-E Tech Titan, whatever. I don't, I don't know what that does. What? And then the grip is is um, rubber too. It's not plastic at all. It's rubber. And that's where the mag goes. It's pretty cool. And of course, it's on both sides too. It's got a three ring trigger. Oh, and the mag release is on this side. I think it's gonna be No, it's not right. Wait, hold on. Alright, yeah, alright. So the mag release is right there. Press it, and the mag goes boom. I used to have other CO2 pistol, but I don't use it now because it broke the mag holder. Hopefully, this one's a lot better so far. So good. And, um, I'll get to the power source in a minute, but. What I use sometimes is I use a little silicone lubricant right there. And as you can see, I bought it from Meyer. It's cheap. It does what it's supposed to do and everything. So I don't need to spend like four dollars. So yeah, and you can buy it from Walmart and basically any store, Lube Store, Andersons, anything. Oops. My bad. Dropped my iPod there. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. I what I do with this is hold on a second. Alright, what I do with this is I push the gun barrel back, which the f it locks right then and there, right here, as you go back, and I spray a little on there, on there from time to time, so it's an easier slide back and forth, back and forth for the slide. There's not a lot of wear and tear on it, or whatever you want to call it. And I also spray a little bit down into there, where all the internals are. Just for a little, ch -ch -ch, and you're good. My favorite part is, it's pretty sweet. Alright. What I prefer is to use propane, which is a lot cheaper, and you and and the more they get one, and you hit hold more. But green gas, all it is is propane with silicone oil in it. So you're, gonna, so you're probably asking, how do you get silicone oil on freaking propane? Flip it over. What I do, I spray a little bit into the little nozzle area. As so, take the receiver. Oh, and this costs like $35 at Evike, but it may seem expensive now, but just, if you, this thing, this whole can of propane is only $2 at Walmart. And to get two, it's like $5. And this is $2. And green grass itself is $15. And you won't need to get, like, I keep getting these all, all over and again, and neither of this, because this is 16.4 ounces, and green grass is 8 ounces. And you get twice. So this is basically two green grass cans right there. In this one can. So, yeah, you screw it on, blah, blah, blah. But you gotta screw it on right. Hold on a second. There you go. Screw it on all the way. I'm ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. Then you unscrew this. Hold on a second. You make sure you don't want to use the little rubber part in there. Because that holds all the. Because if you lose that, it's going to lose all the. Like the compression of whatever the propane is just gonna come out there, and yeah. 
So I spray a little to there too, like you're supposed to do. I try to fill it as much as I can. But for some reason it doesn't always go to all the way up to where you sprayed in at. I don't know why. It's just weird like that. So when you're done, you take the little part you took you unscrewed. You screw it back on like so. If I can get it here, there we go. You screw it till it's tight on there. And then you're, all you have to do is, what you should do, is hold it upside down, put the nozzle end into there, feel around till you feel a little like clacking thing. That's what I do. So you get the little pin, and you just don't spray it on in, in the side, because that's not going to do anything at all. It's just going to go out that out in the nearest exit it finds. So you do that. I have to fill it up real quick, and I'm just going to spray it for you guys. No homo. But hold on a second. i got to put the iPod down and everything. Oh, and I gotta fill it up too. Forgot about that. So, I'll be back in a little bit. It may be dark for a screen. Just skip around to wherever you see the first image up here or whatever, because it may be a little while. You may hear a little. Alright, I just filled up the mag. You guys heard it released a lot of gas. That's because I filled it up a little too much <laughs> and it went all out, so I forgot about to tell you that. And another thing I forgot to tell about propane is I keep it in my garage. So if it if, if it is too explode, which I'm not saying it will, um it doesn't like blow out the whole house and everything, it just tears apart the garage. But what for me it's not really a good idea to do that though. Because seeing you know, how my bedroom's right above the garage, it's kinda Yeah. Just gonna put the BBs in there now. All right, slid the Mac up in there. Snap. I find that pretty cool. And you've got visible iron sights, or, well, like, colored iron sights. That way, if you, uh, if you are to shoot at night, you can see where you're, like, sh it's easier to aim up and everything behind your sights. It's a little dark right now. I'm actually in my hallway and down to the outside because I finally can get a review up where it's cold or not, or you can actually see it shooting and all that. Oh, forgot to say, propane is also not good when you, it's cold outside. Alright, like I said, propane is not good when it's cold outside. It doesn't flow as well or power as well, but that's the only downside about propane, but green gas does it too, so it's not that big of a deal. And I took the, I screwed that too. All right, if you do is pretty much just yank it off, pretty much. That's what I did. Well, not that you yank it off, but you like, you tilt the side to side with the pliers, and it eventually just pops off, but yeah. Anyways, propane is not the best thing to use when you're, when it's cold outside. But... Once again, green ass will do it too. So, it's whatever. And um, I didn't fill the mag up anyways either, so that kind of affected a little bit too. So that's the end of that review. I do prefer green gas over, or I do prefer propane over green gas because it costs a lot less. Once you get past the $35 nozzle that it takes, or adapter, whatever you want to call it, it's pretty much all free. Or, not free, but I mean it's pretty much a good price. $2 or $5 if you want two of them. And... 
two dollars or one dollar or like ninety cents I think it was pretty cheap not a whole expensive thing so it's pretty good